So, now this is what people do, ladies and gentlemen. Most people, how many people do goal setting? Goal setting. How many people set your goals regularly? What a waste of time. What a waste of time. You're going to think, why did I come to this seminar? This man is mad. He's going completely opposite compared to what everyone tells him. Goal setting is a complete and utter waste of time. Anyone do time management? Thank you. Mumbai, no one manages time. <laughs> no. I'm round the corner. Yeah. One hour later, I'm just reaching. Anyone do New Year's resolutions here? New Year's resolutions? Lie. You're lying. How many of you read your astrology every day? That's the easy way out. So, most people do this. They set results. This year, I will earn this much income. This year, this is how much love I'm going to show my husband or wife. This is what I'm going to do with the holidays. This is what I'm going to do. Everyone does that? Yet 95% of people never achieve it. What's the point of setting a goal if your identity doesn't match the goal? So for example, you teach me how to fire weapons. So I'm going to learn the missile launcher, the AK-47, the MP5. I'm learning everything. I'm fully geared for war. I go into the battlefield. I won the battlefield, but my identity is not to kill anyone. I can't kill people, man. I can't. So am I going to be able to perform at my best? Because my identity does not allow me to kill people. So what's the point of me setting my goal if I don't have the identity to achieve it? How many of you want to make 10 crores a year? How many of you are making at least one crore a year right now? Interesting. So if I came and gave you 10 crores, would you know what to do with it? Most people wouldn't because their identity doesn't allow them. So what we're going to do is this. Let me give an example. Imagine I have two people coming to visit. One is Gabbar Singh and one is Mother Teresa. So I say to you, Gabbar Singh is going to come to visit us. What will you instantly imagine in your head? Man, Gabbar Singh. Right? So that's my Hindi for today. Right? <coughs> so Gabbar Ajayga, right? That's it. So the identity is the moment you think of Gabbar, you now look at Gabbar as a terror. He walks in through the door and you think, oh shit, Gabbar is here. And you run. And Gabbar has done nothing to you in his life. Poor guy, he's chewing barn, spitting it out. What did he do to you? Nothing. And then I say to you, oh, gabbar has gone, but Mother Teresa is coming. And you think, ah, oh, so cool, Mother Teresa, yeah, come along. And she's done nothing for you too. She's not met you. But what if one day I managed to convince you that Mother Teresa was actually gabbar and gabbar was Mother Teresa? Metaphorically, hypothetically, don't kill me for this. I'm not saying that. <clears throat> but I'm giving you an example. If Mother Teresa walked in, what would you think? You'd run. Because you would have the identity that, my God, she is someone. And if Gabbar walked in, you'd say, hey, come, buddy, let's have a cup of tea. So the way you perceive the world is exactly how your world is. You're, you must have heard this a million times. It's in every good religious book. You know, your war within, your, 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 your thinking within is a projection of your world out. Fact. Science, science proves that. Nothing exists here. It comes this way. Science has proven that. So if I say to myself, if nothing exists there and I am playing simply a movie, who does that movie belong to? Me. So if my life is shit, what kind of movie am I playing? You, you can say the word shit. It's allowed. We go to the toilet. We do it every day. Nothing wrong with it, right? So if I'm going to play a shit movie, what kind of movie am I playing? Shit. A shit movie. Who put the movie in my head? So that's why we say Hello. sometimes that people are full of shit, right? Because they play shit things all day long. 
<clears throat> so what I'm saying to you is this. If I want to now become a millionaire, the area I've got to work on is my identity, not my goals. I used to do this. I set goals, I'm going to achieve this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to, I achieve nothing. Nothing. But the moment I change my belief, so here, this is what I do. Watch this. <clears throat> I grow up. Let me draw it. <clears throat> so, if you can't see this, it's life. <clears throat> That's her face. No, 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 no. And this is a filing system. Okay? So, in that filing system are what I call references. So, in the file, we have a reference. Got it? So, imagine I'm a little baby. I'm a little baby. I'm sitting down and I'm playing with my toys. And I look in the corner and I see something coming my way. And it looks like this. <coughs> Basically, a spider. So imagine I've never seen a spider in my life. I've never seen one. So am I nervous? No. Because I have no reference of a spider. So am I curious? So if I give a baby a snake, what does the baby do? In his mouth, in his mouth, rips it apart, doesn't matter. It doesn't know. So the spider comes my way and it goes on my shoe, up my leg, and sits on my shoulder. Am I nervous? No, I'm thinking, yo, who's this? I'm pulling his leg and he's pulling it back and I'm pulling his leg. Then something happens. My mother walks in. Big spider on my shoulder. That was good. My mother walks in and goes. My mother walks in and goes. My mother walks in and goes. Not bad, that's about level five, we're getting there, right? Hits a spider, knocks it out, I start crying, and now I get a reference that spiders are, and every time my mother sees a spider, she's going to hit me. Could be. So the next day I'm sitting down, I'm playing with my toys, and I look to my right and I see another spider the grandfather of the dead spider. Walking. Boom! 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 Am I nervous? Why? Because my brain goes back to the last time I saw a spider and says, uh-uh. Bad. Mother's gonna hit me. But I'm a kid. I forget like. Like what? Like? I forget. That's why kids hurt themselves. You give them an ice cream. They forget everything that they ever experience in their life. Because kids have very quick access to changing memories. I now, the spider comes up my foot, sits my shoulder, and I'm playing with the spider and something happens. My mother walks in. And my mother... And my mother... If the person next to you is not screaming, can you just give them a quick punch like this? My mother comes in and goes... That was good. I killed a spider. Bang, bang, bang. And now I have another reference. The spiders are very, 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 very bad. And every time I kill a spider, my mother will love me because she said, Beta, there, 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 are you okay? Now, how many people in this room do not like spiders? How many people have walked in their house one day and a spider was waiting there to attack you. <laughs> How many spiders have had a relationship with your wife or husband? <laughs> Anyone, any spider gone along and robbed your wallet or stolen, burgled your house? No. What has a spider done to you? Nothing. He looks at you and thinks, holy shit, it's a giant. <laughs> and you look at it and think, holy shit, I'm such a wimp. <laughs> I run that way, the spider goes the other way. But spiders have done nothing to you. Everybody close your eyes, close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Imagine you're going to this fantastic five-star hotel. Close your eyes. The waiter comes, takes you to your chair, you sit down, it's beautiful. 
and he says to you, what do you want? And you say, what's on the menu? Bring the special. So he comes back with this big glass bowl with beautiful, crispy, fried cockroaches. Keep your eyes closed. You pick up a cockroach, you look at it, and you put it into your mouth and you go crunch. And you can feel that crunchy feeling in your mouth as you're chewing it and it's going inside you and you swallow it, open your eyes. Why are you all going? There's no cockroach. If I did that in China, what would they say? If I gave a rat in China, what would they say? Wow. So the truth is that your whole life is based upon references. Because are cockroaches bad? No. The Chinese love them. So what is bad? Now I've got a filter. Filter number one is that all spiders are bad. If tomorrow I'm lying down and the spider crawls over my body and I'm going to jump up and do the dance, I'll have another filter that spider is really bad. Now if this lady came up to me and said to me, Arfine, man, I got bitten by a spider the other day, I have another filter that spider is really bad. So all day long we get filter, 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 and we scatter together and we get a belief. And then we believe something, it is true. So what are the filters that you have around you when it comes to money, relationships, health, love? If you are not making money or you are not financially free, it is only because the things that you are looking through in your life are the things that are preventing you from becoming rich. It's simple. How many of you believe money is the root to all evil? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Don't be shy. It's okay. Now, the people who have raised their hand, keep your hands up. The people who raise their hand, how many of you want to become millionaires? How is that possible? Are you evil? So how would the brain allow them to make money when they're not evil? And root, uh, money is the root to all evil. Can you see the contradiction? How many of you believe that you are capable right now to make 10 crores a year? Raise your hand. Capable right now. How many of you are making it? Obviously you're not. If you're capable, you would be making it, correct? Let's be honest. I can be honest and straight with you, right? If you get offended, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Because it's about honesty. The fact of the matter is, if you're capable of making 10 crores, are you making 10 crores? No, so you're not capable. And the reason why you'll not be making it is because your identity may have filters that are preventing you from doing things. Simple as that. So what we've got to do, we've got to get away from the filters. Take those filters out. How many of you are overweight? And have been, wow, and have been for a long time. Now, why don't you lose weight? Because your filter could be, gym is very hard. I don't have the time. I'm not going to lose weight because my dad is fat, so I'm going to be fat. Or something like that. So the filters will prevent you from losing weight. If you're in a relationship and you have ideals about relationships, that men should be like this and women should be like this, and then you get married to someone who's completely different, you're not going to say that my filters are bad. You're going to say she's bad or he's bad. So the secret here is this. You've got to understand where are your filters? Where are they? Where do they exist? Who are you? What are you looking through? You want to be successful today? All you've got to do is peel away the bullshit. There's so much bullshit that we collect along the way. When we're kids, we get told when we're kids. I was told when I was at school, my teacher would say, you're an idiot, you can't do this. I believed her. As we grow up, we, keep, we hear, my dad used to say to me, you know, what do you think? Meaning I said, my God, you think money grows on trees? Okay, no, I like you, right? Do you think money grows on trees? Do you think, do you think it's, it's easy to make money out there? Do you think how, you know how life, how difficult life is? We, we, we hear all this stuff, right? We, hold, we hear all these things, right? And as a result, we create filter, 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 filter. And as a result, we decide to become what, we decide what this world is. I'm standing on this platform. I fail my English. I fail my maths. I fail public speaking. If you read my handwriting, you will be embarrassed because even I can't read it. It's so bad. I'm not kidding you. But I stand here and I speak to you because all I did was take away my filter of fear, nervousness, shyness. I make a lot of money. 
I've got a, I've got two Ferraris. I've got like a five million pound house in London. I've got about 50, 57 properties. I'm doing well. I'm not telling you to show off. I'm not telling you to show off. I run a business that makes an absolute fortune a year. And I really tell you this because I shouldn't be making this. I'm not qualified. I don't have the skill set. I don't have the, the background of this. I don't have it. I have even acted in a movie. And I'm not even an actor. You seen Mere Brother Ki Dulan? I'm in that, by the way. I'm that fat guy in there. I'm in that movie. I'm not even an actor. I went for an audition. I believed I would get it. I got it. And since then, I've got like eight offers. I'm not an actor, so I'm not doing it. But I'm saying, I should not be getting any of this stuff. But the key factor to change is identity. Who the beep are you? Who are you? Think about that. When you wake up in the morning, are you that person that says, I am that person that's going to take life on. I'm the person that can handle challenges. I don't crush under pressure. Who are you? Who are you? You can judge the person by the size of the problem it takes to bring them down. Who are you? You want to become financially free. You want to become financially successful. You've got to re-educate yourself. You have to. Because we've been filled up with so much shit. So much. Most of it has come from our family members, by the way. Not intentionally, because they love you. Better don't do this. Betty, don't do this. You'll hurt yourself. Don't do this. What if they fail? Get off the tree. Get off the tree. You may hurt yourself. Don't take risk in life. No. Get a good, secure job. Do, I mean, all that stuff that goes on. And when you go to education, they teach you how to memorize bullshit. It's not, it's not education. It's your memory test. If you've got a bad memory, you're screwed. So the fact of the matter is, what do you do? So I'm telling you this. I'm telling you that you can change your life now. And I mean it. Exactly now. And the way you do that is by you first of all take responsibility. You say to yourself, it's my fault. And you do your best to fix it. You create an identity of a warrior. Look at this. You see that mental warrior? You create the identity of a warrior. So you can put up with all the shit that you get. Because trust me, ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, I'm not Mr. Positive Thinking. You're going to go through some serious shit in your life. Everyone does. And if you can't handle it, you will be crushed. I don't want to be crushed. I want to handle it. You know, maybe life is destined. Maybe you, you're destined to fall in a hole, but you're not destined to stay there at all. You've got to come out. So what is your identity? Who are you?